Hello, dear channel. Welcome. Rendering tutorial, the new Light Tracer 2.6. Bunch of new features. Today, jewelry scenes to take the best advantage of the new caustic system. Let's get started. And drag and drop any model you want. And here I'm going to replace. So Light Tracer is going to load my object file. Light Tracer supports many different formats. My ring is here. Let's add a floor, a very simple floor. Now the floor at first is a shadow catcher, which is great because shadow catchers are always very welcome. But obviously I'm going to start working with the material. So let's go to the library. We know that Light Tracer material library is great. It keeps growing. That's exactly what we want. And obviously you can create your own materials. All right, so I need gold. Some materials are already loaded right there. And here I can tweak in properties. You can go and tweak the color. I want it slightly warmer, slightly warmer there. Great, the gold is ready. Let's go to library. Now let's bring the diamonds. So remember, Light Tracer is obviously capable with refractions and dispersion. Very important for the diamond, the dispersion, you know, these rainbow colors inside the diamonds. That's called the fire of the diamond. The natural optical phenomena is called dispersion. I'm going to create a new material for the gemstone. I want something a bit more colorful. It's a turquoise. So let's go to properties that object selected and let's go and load the textures. Okay, let's try this. So here I can tweak the zoom and make the texture fit. You can load any image you want and you can use very high resolution images. Now for the floor, let's bring a fabric texture. Okay, so we have preloaded materials. And the other ones with the small arrow you can download. It's very easy. Let's click here, choose the format. Here I'm going to use the 2K PNG image. All right, let's go through properties for the floor here. And I'm going to make it smaller. Don't forget to save. Okay, now here, don't forget that Light Tracer has a physics system, gravity simulation system. So I'm going to move the ring up here. I'm going to put the physics engine to dynamic here, and I'm going to turn it on right there, enable collisions and the physics system. Here we go. So we can set the ring on the floor. It's calculating here. You can always remove the shapes right there. And now I can set the ring on the floor using the collision system right there. And you can do the same if you have many objects. It's always a lot of fun, as you can see. Now, obviously, we still need to tweak the depth of field and bring the lights to create the caustics. Don't forget to save the scene from time to time. Right there, double click, replace, overwrite right here. Okay, so this is already looking pretty good. Okay, so first let's move forward with some nice new features here. By example, we have the new outlining mode. Okay, so we can turn it on right here. So this is overlay. You can see the outlines, contours, and the features outline now. And we can go to sketch mode like this. And this is great for designers because we can save this and print it. And then by example, I use this by printing it and then painting it with watercolors. This is great in jewelry. It's part of my job. Okay, don't forget that we have the physical depth of field. We turn it on here. The strength is here. The lower, stronger the effect. As you can see, it's got one, maybe two. And don't forget to set the focus point right there. Now also the bloom. We can tweak it. We can do this now or later. Okay, tweak the bloom as you like. And also something I want to show on the materials, the new thin film iridescence option right there. So here, let's remove the texture on the color and let's adapt a bit the color here, maybe there. All right. And let's turn on, so we can see the iridescence in action. This is used in many different situations. So in the meantime, let me import my own textures. Okay, and don't forget that we have the features to snapshot the view, snapshot the camera here, plus I have a view now saved right there. And anytime I move the view and lose my perfect view spot, I just go here and load it again and you're 
ready to go again from your perfect view spot. Actually, that's how animation works. You create different spots that you want the camera to go to. Remember that I did a tutorial about animations. So for today, it was just a reminder. Okay, here I have caustics. Now I'm going to show you how to create this setup in Light Tracer. Now here we have light sources. Let me remove them and show you how to get there. So the normal power of your HDR environment is one, like here. Let's bring it to point one, so the scene gets a lot darker. Okay, now caustics. Let's create here, add a new emitter. Okay, now here, the size and radiance or power, same, are linked. I advise you to remove the link right here. Now, it's all about tweaking the power, the size and the position of the light. You can use as many light sources as you want. Each one is going to create caustics from different angles. Maybe bring this one here. We need a lot of radiance, a lot of power, like here. Now you can see the caustics. Don't forget to turn on the bidirectional path tracing to get the complex lighting and the caustics up there. Tweak the size of the light, maybe one, which is the lowest, and you can see the caustics here and there. The bounces of the light on the glossy metallic surfaces like the gold and the gemstones. So if you make the light bigger, it brings more light. At two, it's already too much light. So it's a very fine tweaking that we need here. Then you can bring another light source, maybe from the back. Here, it's going to create a shadow to the front. And don't forget to also tweak radiance, the power, and the size of that light. Okay, so don't forget also that the textures on your floor are going to affect a lot the fact that you are going to see the caustics or not. Obviously, if you have a darker, flat texture on the floor or the surroundings, you're going to see the caustics more easily and you'll see them brighter, more clearly on your clean texture. So be smart about that. Tweak the lights, tweak the texture to take the best advantages of the caustics. Caustics are a very nice touch of realism in your renders and in the jewelry business, it's all about details. All right, so I explained very clearly how to tweak the scene to get the caustics working in Light Tracer 2.6. This is an example with a fancy ring with a semi-precious gemstone. So I let the render complete. I tweaked all the effects. Everything is nicely set up. So just wait for the green bar to complete. You can check the time it's going to take depending on the resolution you are working with. Here I'm working in 4K, so obviously it's a bit slower. And once you're happy with the results, you can save now in HDR or AXR. This is a new feature here in Light Tracer. These are the best formats, especially the AXR. But as always, I'm going to save in PNG. But obviously, I'm going to make two more examples to showcase the features. Great, now let's create a new scene. This time, let's drag and drop some earrings right here. Replace. And let's create a new scene. Let's set up the camera. Let's add the floor. Great, now the materials. Library, I want diamonds. Drag and drop. Now I need some ruby here. Don't forget to turn on the bidirectional path tracing. Now the gold. Let's go with yellow gold again. Let's go to materials right there. Select the gold. You don't have to select an object. Let's go to properties. Let's tweak now the floor. I can simply select it. Instead of catcher, it's a principal material. Very low metalness. High roughness, maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Make it darker. There you go. Now what do we have is reflectance. So we need to go here, reflectance at zero. This is a bit better. Okay, let's save this. Now, the power scale at point one, very low environment light. Let's go to emitters. Let's add a light. Remove the link between size and power. So at 50,000, diameter one. Don't forget to go to settings, tweak the max, depth to maximum everywhere. 
let's go to depth of field where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to add another emitter on the side right here. Radiance 50,000 size 2. And now it's all about tweaking the positions, the size and power. Here you can tweak the coherency and the offset. This will work on the precision of the caustics and on the distance between the cast rays. So you can get a bit more of the effect of the caustics in your scene. Okay, a quick tip here. By example, my rubies, we can't really much see the color. Here in advanced settings on the material, we can turn on the tint. So let's bring a color, red and with a bit of pink right here. And let's turn on the tint on the reflection and the refraction, 0.5 and 0.5. We can see that the color on the rubies is a lot stronger. Maybe it's too strong now. It's all about tweaking this. If you want to enhance the color, nice. So. This is the result of the second example, earrings, a nice wood floor from the library. And here we can clearly see that the caustics are bringing high quality rendering. Great. Let's save this render. All right. And because three is the charm, let us make these wedding rings and band render. Let's find the best viewpoint. So we have the wedding ring and the band matching the ring. This is very nice diamond jewelry so obviously i'm going to do it white gold save the snapshot right here plus and library so let's use the yellow gold let's go right away to the gold properties and let's make it lightly slightly gray now we just need the diamonds the floor so let's add a simple floor a fabric material fabric properties right here and let's change the zoom then let's save this before proceeding to creating the light emit find the power scale right here let's go to 0.1 let's go to emitters right here add so remove the link between radiance and diameter let's go at 85,000 right there and diameter one don't forget to turn on the caustics go to settings don't forget to we the depth here, there, and here. Play with the coherence and offset. Okay, this is great. Here on the right side, we're getting a very nice caustic from the band. This is pure caustic beauty because we're going to add another emitter. We're getting this typical conchoidal caustic. This is exactly the caustic you want to get. The depth of field. Let's go to the depth of field. Also the bloom, so physical camera, the noising also. Also about the noising, don't forget that we have the noising, optics and Intel the noising, which are the best. Optics is faster, Intel is sharper. Don't forget to save. And now I will proceed to the tweaking of all the details to get the final result. And here we are. This is the third result. This is the cherry on the pie white gold and diamonds wedding bands wet caustics and light tracer 2.6 so the setup is made exactly like earlier and the result are here to speak for themselves so as always i hope you enjoyed this tutorial dear channel dear followers be nice to animals be nice to the planet thanks and see you soon